it's day one! First full day in the parks. <laughs> it is, and any guesses where we're heading? We're in our Star Wars gear today, so... Hollywood Studios. Yes, I thought it'd be fun to do Hollywood Studios for Benji's first time back in four years because he mm -hmm. hasn't done so many new rides there. Mm -hmm. So we've got Rise of Resistance for you today and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I haven't done Star Wars at all in Florida, have I? No. Because we did it, all of my memories are for California. The Cali, yeah. So. so you haven't done Galaxy's Edge here. So we're doing a bumper big vlog for you today. We're going to take you along for our first full day in Hollywood Studios and then we're going to hopefully go to Target later and tomorrow we're doing Epcot and we're going to take you along in this vlog for that day as well. So, so if you haven't got a cup of tea, pause it. Grab your drink <laughs> and your snacks. Play. And make sure you hit subscribe because <laughs> you don't want to miss all the other vlogs that we've got going on. So should be a really amazing day. I'm looking forward to hearing what you think of everything. The only other thing I was going to say to you this morning is that I booked us a lightning lane for Rise of Resistance and I really did struggle to find where you do that. And I ended up using the search function and just typing in Rise of Resistance and it wasn't coming up immediately. And then when it did... I got 3.30 as the earliest time at one minute past seven. This is my outfit of the day. I got this Star Wars tee the last time I was here in Disney Springs and I love it. It's actually a crop t-shirt and it's just so cute. So I paired it with this nice little floaty monkey skirt. Blue ears are Shop Disney. For my trainers, I'm wearing New Balance. They are five, seven, fours. So I'll leave them linked if I can. And I've got this cute little Christmas bag as we are here Christmas time. The bed was really comfortable and we both had loads of space. There were loads of pillows. I slept pretty well. We ended up going to bed about half nine, 10 and I, AC was, really good. AC was nice. Quiet. And then, yeah, it was quiet. And I woke up at two and then went back to sleep and woke up at four. And I said to myself, come on, we can do another hour. So I woke up and I was like, oh, it's, it's time. Like I've, we've nailed it. It's, this is definitely in the morning. I looked at my phone and it was like 11.45. I was like, ah, okay. Maybe not. We don't have any sort of view and there is a pool somewhere around here. Lots of people up and about already. We've got Rubik's cubes. Yeah, how nice is this weather? Yeah, lovely. Perfect. This is incredible. This is the walk around the lake to the Skyliner. Got loads of little facts done by year. Yeah. Oh, so this will be the running track then? Yes. So 1.6 miles long, something like that, 1.3. If you want to run around your resort, I yeah. I don't expect any content from the running track from us. <laughs> But it's nice, look at it, it's a lovely flat yeah, walk. Really nice. So you can see Art of Animation across the lake here. And here's what the Skyline's looking like. I was really worried it would be really, really busy, but it's half past seven. The queue's not that bad. Look at that. That's pretty free flowing. Oh my gosh, this is your first Skyliner experience. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Look at that for a view, first thing in the morning. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's peaceful, the sunrise, the weather. Everything is just perfection. I honestly can't explain to you this feeling. It's just, it's just everything. So not to be too confused, you do have to change sometimes. And then we're just switching at Caribbean Beach. First experience though, we were chatting to that family with kids, aren't we? So I didn't yeah. film, but cool, right? Yeah, I like that. Good. So this is what the queue looks like for the transfer. It's about, I don't know, about five minutes. It moves fairly Maybe quickly. 10 minute change. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's like I'm enjoying being the Disney Buzz. Yeah. Thank you for flying with us. That's all right. Por favor, permanezca sentado hasta que las puertas se abran so just in the interest of uh, timings we left at half past seven and it is eight o'clock bang on the dot first day first park early entry is 30 minutes before for guests at disney hotels so we're going to take advantage of that isn't it cute yay <laughs> We're in! I love that this is all new for both of us. Not all the Christmas stuff. Yeah, I've never seen it at Christmas. So pretty. Oh, for real, feels like a ah! <laughs> So we're gonna go straight to Mickey and Minnie's runaway. Runaway railway. Oh the music, everything is so nice. I love it. I know that people said that it's really pretty decorated. No, don't get distracted. Come on. Come on now. <laughs> You focus. know the drill, babe. You've got Come to on. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> I know that people say that it's really beautiful at Christmas, but I actually think it's totally like it's, it, it's way better than I thought. Oh, that's bigger than our tree. <laughs> okay, not off to the best start. 
because it's closed, I think. You wanna go down there anyway? Let's have a look. Wow, look at it though. <laughs> I don't, I don't, it wasn't open at all when I came last time, was it? Nope. It was closed from the great movie ride, which neither of us yeah. did, but it looks great. And we've been to the theatre in LA, haven't we? We have been to no, the Chinese theatre, yeah. yeah, the real one. So this is why you can only plan so much and you have to sort of adapt as you go, because although this still says temporary closed, they opened it one minute ago and he's saying it's a 30 minute wait. So we're just going to give it a go. So here's the pre-show. Look how gorgeous this room is. Now. This song's gonna be stuck in your head all day. <laughs> yeah, the detail's so good. Look at the train. It's so good. <laughs> so clever, isn't it? <laughs> this face. It's so clever. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot this scene. Ready and one, two, three, one, two, three. Excellent. Let's Yeah, we can sit there. Join them for a picnic. Oh. I'm not going to show you all the pins I'm buying because I want you to watch my haul. Because <laughs> the video will be like you 10 know. hours long. Yeah, but I just found these two at the end of the ride and I just thought we have to get those. Oh my gosh, I've not seen those. It's like picnic basket material. Oh, they're so cute. I've not seen those anywhere, not even like on Instagram or anything. Oh, it says the end on the back. They're very sweet. Those are cute. Aren't they? Oh, it's the little train. <laughs> You pull it back and it goes forward, right? I like the little bird bag too. Oh my gosh, I could buy it all. What did you think? I really enjoyed that. Did you? It was so sweet. It was sweet. It was, you were like surrounded by the filming as well, so it's you very can look Disney. everywhere. Yeah. And I even pointed out a couple of things to you that you didn't yeah. notice on your first time running. I, I so. do think that you, every time you do it, you spot new things. Yeah. I'm a Muppet Vision 3Ds this way. No, we're not doing Muppet Vision you know, I 3D. when I made you queue up for ages, so I was like, oh my God, it's incredible. It's not. And then it turns out that like 10 year old me found it a lot more enjoyable than 23 year old me or whatever. Well, however old you were at the yeah. time, yeah. Um, no, thank you, that's not for me. But we're heading over to Galaxy's Edge and the first thing we want to do over there is get Ronto wraps. Ronto wrap, baby. Then we're going to do Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run, which we have done before, but it's a great ride. Um, Mickey and Minnie are in here yeah. and I don't think you and I have met Mickey in his like Sorcerer Mickey outfit. And it's a really nice meet and greet. So I think we should do that at some point. Oh, it's mini at the moment. It's both. Oh, both. Yeah. And we'll do that. So the wait for Rise is about 105 minutes right now and the queue is ginormous. It's looking so beautiful. So we're gonna go and get our Ronto wraps and then Smuggler's Run. I absolutely love it here. Like you really do want to take some time to soak up the theming. Like even the floor is just so cool. It looks like it's cracked in places and there's footprints. Disney have done an exceptional job with Galaxy's Edge. Wow. I love it. The droid is cooking the meat. <laughs> so we've got the breakfast menu. I'll show you that when we get there, but look. And they're using this engine to heat it up. Here's the menu. So we're gonna go for the Ronto morning wrap. It's got sausage, cheese, and egg and they have some overnight oats as well that look pretty good so i like this menu it's a good breakfast spot okay i did mobile order it just made so much more sense and then you just come to the mobile order pickup bit some free water yes please all right we've got our ronto wraps this is what they look like i think we're going to need to get some more snacks throughout the day but first snack first food yeah of course he's eating his ronto wrap in his star wars t-shirt in his gal in galaxy's edge living your best life <laughs> Wowie. Our next ride is gonna be Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run, which if you haven't done it before, feels like you're actually flying the Millennium Falcon. There are three positions you can get, pilot, gunner, and engineer. And each one you have a different job to do. The pilot is the best, I will be honest. But the other ones, you still get to push some buttons and enjoy the ride. So it doesn't really matter what you get, but, it's a good ride, so that's what we're going to do next. Hello, my friends. 
I am Hondo Onaka. Side by side, Violet. Gunner's behind. Oh, wait, it's time to go. Go, go. Wow. Hondo's ready for you. Look at me, Violet. And supervise young ladies. So cool. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. I know we've done this before, but it's just uh, epic, isn't it? Right <laughs> oh, okay. Woo! They've not gone to us. Hey guys, oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> oh. Shutters, shoot the train. Yes. Keep passing those controls! The resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. Yeah! That was so good that we got to be pilots! Both of us as well. Yeah! One of us was left and right, me, and Benji was up and down and he got to pull all the like levers. I was close. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. All right, so the next ride is Rock and Roller, rock and roll, roll, but not for another <laughs> Rock and Roller roller coaster. He calls it, um, but not for another half an hour. So we've got some time to kill, mooch in. Just have a wonder. Shops right here. Yeah. So this is where you can build a droid. Looks like such an amazing experience, and kids love it. But yeah, it's so cool. And look up at the top. They have all the bits that go along. Our first character spot is Chewie and Ray. <laughs> no. Oh, oh no, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> He's checking on something. The cast member just said my outfit was cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's so nice. Bench, this is pins and souvenirs. I think we're gonna have to have a, just a little little look. Right, if you've watched the vlogs before, then you'll know. Tara Tara is your favorite ride of all time. It is my worst. Do not like Tara Tara. I'm sorry, I know how it's cult. I, how did I manage to get you on it last time? I think you convinced me that we hadn't done it here. You're still trying to impress me at that point, but now you've given up. <laughs> No, no. no, I don't need to do that, thank you. But what I will do is rock and roller coaster. Yeah, like seven or eight times. Yeah. This is the first ride I ever remember getting that like, G-Force face on as a kid. <laughs> I love it here. It's so cool. So we're gonna do rock and roller, but I am not gonna film on this. It's completely no point. It's a, it's a roller coaster, obviously. The best roller coaster. That's up for debate. So that was epic. Loved it. Loved best it. Best ride in the parks. It's not the best. It is. It's the in best to, to you. My opinion. Yeah. Which is correct. Okay. <laughs> that is such a nice T-shirt. Oh, it's got when all the rides open on the back. Okay. Last time I was here, I nearly bought this. It's eighty. $5 and every time I see it, oh, I fall in small, love with it. It is, but I love it. But I don't know, it's just, I'm not sure what it is, why I've not bought it yet. I don't know if it's because it's quite blue. Which means not very nice. It's amazing, I love it. What? Because it's a bit bigger than the other lounge flies, you can fit a lot more in it. Some of these shops are just honestly so gorgeous. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, that is so nice. They're all so nice. I'm absolutely obsessed with the Kate Spade Disney collab. And this is a bit of me. This is nice too, but this is a bit of me. I love it. That one's good. Extra large, extra cheese, extra terrestrial? Terrestrial. That's really cool. I like that. That is so cute. It's a Christmas spirit jersey jumper. Really soft inside. It's when you'd wear it home in the UK. Really? Look at the design though. I love it. That's so nice. Imagine like three year old me in there. Yeah. My little hat with the flaps on it. I wish they did that in adult. That would look so good on you. We don't say this enough, but one of our favourite things is what we call mooching. Just going for a mooch. A lot of my American followers didn't understand that when we said that a lot in the last <laughs> vlogs. But it is just really going for a browse. Gary and Adam will call it a moo moo cheroo if you follow them. But we will call it a mooch, mooching. And we just literally, it just means aimlessly going in and out and looking at stuff without any real purpose or intent and then of just buying stuff. stuff saying, That's cute. That's nice. Oh, that would look good yeah, on you. I love that. Um, also, I've got my ears on my ear holder on my back. Can you see? Close your eyes. Have I got mascara? Yeah. At this sunshine day bar. They have a couple of drinks that caught Benji's eye, so we were thinking of maybe getting one to share. We got the Blackberry Moonshine Lemonade. It's gorgeous. It, we've got our own little straws. <laughs> so we don't have to have paper. They make everything so 
so larger than life. Yeah, it's so clever. So this is a popcorn bucket that you can refill it. So once you buy it, then you can just pay for the refill. But it says happy holidays on it. So it makes like a really fun souvenir. There we go. And then that, that lights up at the top there. Yeah, it's cute. All right, finally time to do Toy Story Mania. So the question is, who's gonna win? It's always Benji. It's always you. I, I always wish I'd win. Flex your hands. You never win. Oh my gosh! Who's the winner? Oh, it's me! It's me! Yeah! Oh my gosh, look, I won! Woohoo! I never win. And my accuracy was better than yours, see? So much better. So much better. I will say I did work quite hard for that. My arm, it actually really hurts. It felt like a workout. Okay, fair. Ooh, that was a lot. That was intense. Just when we thought Woody and Jesse were cute in their outfits, Buzz is wearing a Santa hat. Oh my gosh, with a little kid in a. <laughs> well, let's come back. Not that he can fly. After all, he is just a toy. The mobile order is honestly so good. Like just being able to pick it up and not have to wait in a massive queue. Highly recommend. Thank you, babe. Um, but this is my chicken teriyaki bowl. Looks so good. I'm just taking everything off the tray. Benji's got a barbecue brisket, I think. Burger. Uh, uh, pulled pork, isn't it? Oh, it's a pulled pork. Here you go. Lunch was good. I also had a Minute Maid lemonade, which is one of my favourites. So I'm going to have to stock up and get some of these in Target later because they are so, so good. Loved the Blondie, the 50th anniversary one. But these treats are so big, and so I did come prepared. So we shared that. Yes. Still only got halfway through. Still only half. It. So what I'm going to do is literally just wrap it up in its packaging. We've eaten the cream off the top because obviously that would like melt. And then I bought loads of IKEA bags with us, like sandwich bags. I also have that little snack bag, so yeah. this can go in there. And then later, like when we're in bed or another day, we fancy a little snack. Or if we're in the queue, and you have to queue for a while. And you fancy snack. I do feel a little bit smug that I thought that. <laughs> um, but anywho, your food was good? My burger was really nice. Mm. Yeah, burger really was good. good. Yeah. My food was good. It was it was good. It wasn't anything like groundbreaking, like wouldn't run back, but it was tasty and it did the job, filled the hole. So we're just talking about the next plan. We're gonna meet Mickey and Minnie Sir right there. Sorcerer Mickey and Minnie in her pink dress. A really nice meet and Benji's never done it. I'm gonna go to Cheesecake Factory for dinner and then target after. Yes, chicken parm, baby. Stay hydrated, gang. Stay hydrated. We're gonna meet Minnie first. Her pink dress. So we met Mickey and Minnie, as you saw. That was so fun. Yeah, they're Worked good meat. Yeah, they're good meat. I was also gonna say, don't be afraid to ask the cast member to do one on your phone and do your photo pass because sometimes they come out better on the phone. Yeah, we always do both, and they're never, they don't mind. But Mickey looks so good. It's also yeah, Mickey really in there. Nice. That's like his iconic <laughs> outfit, isn't it? I was one. I was trying to work out what he was trying to say to me, and I was like. I'm gonna get this. Yeah, you got there eventually. Didn't I you? got there, I realised it was Disney. The spell is Disney backwards. Anyway, it's time to do Rise of the Resistance. Rise up, rise up. So we'll go back into Galaxy's Edge for the last time today to do Rise for Benji. <laughs> we were just walking to Galaxy's Edge and we noticed just past Pizza Rizzo here, Santa is hanging off the ceiling up here, which is such a nice touch. Look in the windows. Can you see? 
The attention to detail is incredible. Oh, the snowman. The it's detail's like so Disney, good. All the little nook and crannies that are all decorated too. Because this end, you wouldn't think like anyone would be coming down here. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. I don't know if you can like, appreciate this, but look at the wet paint. <laughs> Do not touch. And then the hate of touch is all splashed down there. <laughs> okay, we're going in the lightning lane. What's the wait time? 120 minutes right now. Prep the ready room for recruits. <laughs> Big Link, is everyone assembled? Good. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine looking group of recruits. Hurry, all recruits to transport. No need for safety here, it'll be a smooth ride. Deck is in motion. Recruits crossing to transport. On this ride, if you go to the right, you can see the animatronic in there. Good. Airspeed sensor. Thank you. We've been tasked with getting you to Pekara. So cool. This ship is now under the command of the First Order. You will disembark immediately, then you will proceed to your interrogation. Wow. <laughs> Did you see his head? The stormtrooper's <laughs> the stormtrooper's head moved on the last one. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Such a good ride. Yeah. 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 First order, I've got you. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base. Ron Weasel's not so smiley anymore, is he? <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> to the triple list, then head down to the escape pod base. Those joys are programmed to return you to Batu. Batu, take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Clever in it. How brave, but ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. <laughs> okay, you're clear. <laughs> I think I have that authority. Right back. Yay! What is your intent? Any eyes on Beck? Oh, you're right. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks wow. to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is so secure. good. Bravo! <laughs> what that did you think? That was incredible. Loved it? Yeah. It's I love so the way clever. you like, keep on going into different rooms and you think, oh wow, that's amazing. And like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. The ATATs, the AT-80s, they, they were amazing. Yeah, the so, drop. And... So fast. Because a lot of times, with rides like that, you're just in little room to little room, but the, the full height room. It really felt like you go round the ship, yeah. and then you land and exit outside. I wasn't expecting the drop either. <laughs> I didn't tell you about that. For me, it's the little details, like when you see the um, uh, lightsaber go through the wall yeah. and it cuts it. And through the ceiling as well. Like through the ceiling, yeah. yeah. And then when the stormtroopers shoot, the did you see the, the effect it makes? Slowly. Yeah, like that to me is what makes it so detailed and it really immerses you. Like it feels like you're actually in the movie. Yeah. Really good. Well worth a lightning lane, right. I think. Let's do it again. You're doing it. <laughs> We're coming back to Hollywood Studios another yeah. day. So what I was gonna say is if you've enjoyed like seeing us do Hollywood Studios today, we're gonna come back another day and we're gonna see Fantasmic. So I'm gonna save that for another day. But we'll do all the rides we haven't done, like Slinky Dog we haven't done, and we'll do some of our favourites and we'll eat a few more foodie bits as well. No, but okay, we have to. So do subscribe so you don't miss another Hollywood Studios day that we'll share. But we've kind of wrapped all the things that were on the list to do. So I feel like that. Cut, do you want to mooch back? Yeah, very slow. Slow. Maybe yeah. get a Starbies. Let's go. You and Bucket Hats. I know you and Bucket Hat is every time we come to Disney, you seem to find a Bucket Hat. Oh, it's reversible. Oh. So the Christmas decorations everywhere are just amazing. Like, look at this. And then on the lake, they have giant baubles. Disney, duck. Disney ducks, yeah. Oh, there's a few of them. 
How magic. And look what they've done. They've got the 50th bauble hanging out of the dinosaur. You see it out of his oh, mouth. Yeah. And then obviously you've got the big tree across the lake. We're going to go and see that. Here's the Christmas tree. It's so beautiful. I don't think you can really appreciate the scale or just how lovely it is and how big those ornaments are on there. But it's just amazing. Look at the, like Benj, look. Look at the little holly. Absolutely amazing. And I think that decorating our tree is a bit of a pain. Imagine, Imagine doing here. Doing and they do it all like in one night after Halloween. No. Yeah. What, all the whole park? Oh, well, I know that in Magic Kingdom, they literally turn it around in one night, yeah. What, From the Mickey, 31st of just October. Mickey Minnie. Just Mickey Mini, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> they get their pals to have that as well, don't they? They do. Oh my gosh, the Christmas basket is stuck on his scarf. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> so Chip has the dark nose. So you can remember it like a chocolate chip. So he's the dark and then Dale is the red nose. That's how you remember. <laughs> We've come to get our strawberry acai with a lemonade. I think they now call it a strawberry refresher, I'm not sure. But they have a caramel brulee latte. They even have a peppermint mocha. Oh my gosh, I want it all. I have always wanted to collect these mugs and I think they're lovely right now because they've got the 50th on. But then I know I'll have to have all four from all four parks and I'm just not sure if I want to collect them all. But I love them and I love these little mini mugs. And they have this set of pins that's quite nice as well. Like I'm debating those. Yeah, they've got some really nice bits. I haven't seen these before either, but they've got a Star Wars bin there series as well, which is really nice. Look how lovely that mug is. Gorgeous. Oh, Benj, look at the gingerbread. Mickey and the cake pop. It's like a little reindeer. That's so cute. Oh, they've just set up the snow. It's snowing. Oh. So cool! Oh, they're doing a parade! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> so cute! Hi! Benji's already had a sip. First, <laughs> strawberry acai. In fairness, you were sipping it while I was talking to a viewer. That's, oh, sorry, no. <laughs> that is so nice. You need an extra large. Is it kids? They might have a changing room. Sometimes they do. Yeah, it looks tiny. Oh no, is it kids? It's kids. No, it's so nice. How amazing are these? They light up. They're quite big and heavy, I'm not going to lie. Can you see them lit up? You'd have to be in the dark. You can see them. Like, should we take a guess at how much they are? $55. They're 37 Oh, wow. It's not too bad. 38 actually. 37.56. So we're trying to find a magic band for Benj because he's only ever had plain blue and we can't find it. So he hasn't got one right now. So these are our two choices. We love Donald if we're just doing like a standard, quite thin and flat. But these ones are a little bit bulkier. But I just love the design. I just think that's so nice with Mickey on. They're both really nice. So these are the two that I like the most, but I don't love them enough. Like, I don't love the 50. You love everything about this one, apart from the fact 50, that it's got 50 on yeah. It. I don't know if I like the bird. I know that's obviously part of the Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway ride, but I'm not sure. And this one's quite nice, but I don't like the lotus in the middle. I'm just being a bit fussy because they are pricey, you know? It's so peaceful. Yeah. We're back at the hotel. We're walking to our room. It's this way. We have to pass Mr. and Miss. Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Potato yeah. Head. That's how we know we're going the right way. But we're gonna lie down and chill. We might even have a quick shower for a few hours and then we'll report back. But we're planning on going to Target, that's the plan. Ah, oh, 
I've just had a nice hot shower. I've changed and I'm just going through the photos from today and they're so lovely. Benji took so many really good ones you can't see, but um, you should just go and look at my Instagram and see all the pictures we posted. But he's just gone to fill up our refillable mugs and he's just catching up with his mum and telling her all about the day. And it's so sweet hearing him talk about what he got up to and what he loved and um, yeah he's gone to carry on the conversation but Benji actually found out he has a heart tumour earlier this year and it has restricted his life a little bit in, uh, in some ways but we've been adapting and working around it and I was a bit worried about him but we did do Disneyland Paris earlier this year. Yeah we just take regular breaks what you don't see is the times we just sit down and rest for five minutes and have a drink and soak it all in. Today was quite fast paced and intense we had a lot in but there, were, there could have been so many more things we could have done like shows and more food things and more rides but the greatest thing about having a two-week trip is that we can come back another day so yeah I thought we'll call it quits We've done 15,000 steps so it's definitely going to be a 20,000 by the end of the day um, because we're going to go to Target tonight and that's just because it works to go tonight to get all the drinks and snacks we want for the week but yeah I'm just feeling really grateful for a really great day and can't wait to show you Epcot tomorrow as well. It is so nice outside. It's lovely, isn't it? It's so nice. And we've just booked a lift. It looked like there were way more lifts than Ubers. Lift is in L-Y-F-T, the app. We're actually going to go to the outlets first, which we weren't planning on doing. We're going to Disney Character Warehouse, aren't we? Just quickly, just have to see look. what they have. All right, we've arrived and I made a boo-boo because I accidentally put the... International Drive one. International in, outlets. Instead of Vineland. <laughs> This is Vineland, Vineland Premium Outlets, and they are closer to Disney. They're the closest to Disney, and this is where the character warehouse is where I want to go in. The other one is the International. I don't know. So this is Disney's character warehouse where they basically have loads of stuff discontinued and reduced and everything, and you can get yourself some bargains. So let's have a look. Oh my goodness, I love Stony Clover, but you can't get this in the UK, and it's such lovely stuff. Oh my God, I love it. Wow, look at the price though, 88 99 for that. Oh, I like this one. Oh, I don't like the, I don't like the gems. Guys, they have the coach rucksack and purse that matches my crossbody that I've got, but it's 356. All right, well, they've got some good bits, like some nice things, but nothing that's like really wowing me or like I think is worth buying. But there's no like ears or like anything that I think is, yeah, worth picking up. What are those ones? That's Peter Pan's flight, they're quite cute. They're $7.99, were originally 35 woof. $8 ears is pretty good, but I don't like them. So we've just walked 10 minutes from the outlets to our, one of our favorite restaurants that we discovered this year, yeah. the Cheesecake Factory. Imagine if we had to book. I hope not. I really hope not, I didn't book. It's quite busy, it's a lot busier than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it is. The lighting is so horrendous in here, but we are at Cheesecake Factory. We've got our bread, we've ordered potato tots and our favorite Parmesan. Parmesan? Chicken I was palm. I going to say Parmesan. Chicken palm. Parmesan. Chicken palm. Chicken palm. Chicken palm sandwich. So here is the sandwich. As you can see, it is it is big. Yeah. And there's chips, but we also got some potato tots. And we forgot they give, us, you give you bread beforehand, don't they? They give you bread and they refilled our drinks as well. For free, included, so. Let's eat. Absolutely defeated. This is why we share one. It's absolutely wild. It was yeah. good though, wasn't it? Perfect. Just what we needed. But how I remember it. Yeah, I have been defeated by that final little bite, but that's okay. We are going into Target or Target. Target. And I love it in here. So we've been having a nice little jolly around Target. It's ten past nine. I don't think we've been too long, but I have got a couple of bits. Not actually not a lot. I think we might go to a super target because it's actually missing all the things I found in the last visit I did. So yeah, I think we're going to do a big one um, at some point, but 
We've got all the things we need for now. Any sort of little bits that are worth showing you, I will save to show you in a haul. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss the haul. It is now late. We are back to the hotel. 21,000 steps according to my watch. It's been an amazing day. And as I said, we're going to carry on vlogging tomorrow. We're going to have a nice lion tomorrow. And then we're going to be doing Guardians of the Galaxy for Benj and just like pondering around Epcot really, seeing if we can see candlelight processional, seeing what festival of the holidays is like, keep watching, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, I am not feeling 100%, I've got a little cold, just a little one. It's an annoying little snivel isn't it, but it's starting <laughs> to affect your voice. <laughs> yeah, it's affecting my voice and um, my nose is a bit snotty, but other than that, feel great just ready for the day I just don't sound fresh so <laughs> not great when you're a vlogger you sound like Doc Cotton. so we woke up early 7 a.m. I got a Guardian's virtual uh, return time yeah. so I was very happy about that we got group 31 and it said estimated return time 12 o'clock I was like great let's go back to sleep let's just rest we're gonna be out all day and night then we woke up at like half nine which was lovely and I had a notification that said your boarding group's been called please return by 10 20 and I was like uh, hang on, <laughs> we're, I didn't, I didn't we're not going to make that. I didn't know that was a thing. I did, I do know that they can call you earlier, but I was like, um, yeah, no, we're not going to make that. So not two hours though, that's wild. So I booked a lightning lane, because you can book lightning lanes as a resort guest at 7am as well. So I'm glad I did that too, for exactly this reason. So we have a lightning lane at 11.20, but we're going to try our luck and see if they'll let us. I think, especially because it's two hours, they like people I don't have know. got other things on, haven't they? We're going to be about 20 minutes late, I think, for our reservation. So we'll find out. I know that they give leeway to like 5-10 minutes, but it's a virtual queue. I don't know. We have a lightning lane anyway, but the point is, is that I really wanted to ride it more than once because it's such an epic ride. I think it's up there as one of my favourite rides. I know we're going to say this a lot, but the Skyliner is such a game changer. It's such a nice way to get to and from the parks. I know you can only do Epcot and Hollywood Studios, but it's just amazing. This weather is just... Thank Perfect. you, weather gods. We're so grateful. Thank you. And just in case you're interested, the Skyliner drops you out at Epcot International Gateway, which is where the UK pavilion is. So you don't go to the front where the ball is. Aww. <laughs> Another little thing on Guardians and that is that right now you can only ride it via the virtual queue which they drop at 7am and 1pm and it's free but they go within seconds and number two is an individual lightning lane which costs around $30 for us both. It will change eventually like Rise was originally like that but it's just while well, it's so popular and I imagine Tron will be the same if you're coming for the Tron opening next year. Here we are, Benji's first time on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I love this entrance. It's cool, isn't it? It's so cool. Galaxy Andromeda and yours according to Oh, the obviously they let us straight in by the way. <laughs> they were like, yeah, that's fine, don't worry about it. I was like, oh, okay, thank you, sorry, we were a little bit late. They were like, it's fine. Even though we have a virtual queue or people have like lightning lanes, you still have to queue uh, just in case you're sort of interested. You still have to wait a little bit. I'll let you know. Light casts moving shadows across the city. Something Xandar is famous for. The largest import export hub in the entire Andromeda galaxy. I just said to Benji that there is usually four, five, six different songs, like the soundtrack. It's just automatic, you just get what you get. My favourite is September. So does that mean we have to come back in January then to uh, I was going to say, songs? but they don't have that right yeah. now. It's a Christmas one soundtrack mashup. Um, so it's just the same song. So every time we ride this, this trip, it will just be the same. Sorry. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. I am so excited for this. I'm going to put my camera away, but here's the ride vehicle. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Let's go. We're going to have to be quick because it's music. That but... was so good. Yeah? So good. Yeah, it's like rock and roller, but it's like 360 twisting, isn't it? Really good. Yeah. Rides with some, like some proper songs on them are so good, aren't they? I think you would, I hate to say it, I think you would love the original normal soundtrack. I enjoyed better, that, it was fun, isn't it? It was fun, yeah, yeah. I'm glad you loved it. 
Would you put it up there as one of your faves? Yeah, up there, yeah. Top, top two or three. Top two or three, yeah, same as me. Yeah. Do you want to do it again? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I should say it took 35 minutes from getting in the queue to getting on the ride vehicle. So obviously a lot of that time is some pre-show and it's all part of the experience and the ride. So it doesn't really feel like you're just waiting for half an hour, obviously, because the whole thing is that you go through each section and learn about the story of the ride. Right next door to Guardians is Connections Eatery and this is new in here. It's really nice, isn't it? and right next to the bathrooms they've got a refill station we've started to see these a lot more now so if you were struggling to find like water stops they do have these which is really good so we always try and fill up when we see one right so this is the lightning lane they must have two of exactly the same today it was 35 minutes on the virtual queue and only 10 minutes on lightning lane because we skipped a lot of the chunk we didn't skip we? all the boards, the electronic boards and that, yeah. straight into the teleportation room. Yeah. Why is it that when they do that, everyone stands around and claps? I start hitting a bin with some sticks and I get kicked out of the park. It's a joke. You know you love shops? Yeah. I'm going to take you to the best, well one of the best. I've got two. I've got a big boy one here, Connection Shop. Okay. And then I want us to go to my other favorite shop, I'll show you. Get in, B, we're going shopping. Shopping. <laughs> I haven't been in the new club cool yet. Oh, I didn't get a chance to go in here last time. Oh, it's nice. What's it smell? It's all the drinks, drinks from around the world. So Coca-Cola obviously own loads of different drinks and you can try them for free and it's really fun. That's really cool. That is cool. It wouldn't look cool on me. No, cool. yeah, it's nice. You got a, your, your tag for your hat. Look, let me show you. It's like poking out. No, That's no, how the kids wear it. No, it's not. It's not a vibe. <laughs> we all know by now at this point which one's the worst, don't we? We all know. I'll do you want a random. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. So this is royal watermelon from the Philippines. Lovely. Really nice. This one is Country Club from the Dominican Republic. Oh, that's incredible. That is oh, that's why I've been really the best good. Ever of my life. That is so good. Let's have one last bit of Country Club. No, we haven't had Viva for oh, more gosh, We've got to have more, obviously. That's not so sweet. They have got really lovely Festival of the Holidays pins, and I couldn't decide between the two, but Benj and I agreed on this one. I love it. Again, I'll show you everything in a haul. I've also got a pair of Crocs. Little sneaky peek. I love them. Don't even come for me, okay? This app is honestly just so clever. Here's another little feature I didn't know you could do. You can do mobile checkout. So you just scan your items that I'm buying. We have some good bits, don't we? And we? <laughs> yes, we. We? Okay, cool. So scan items. The bag. Amazing. And now I can check out. So we're coming up to the main Christmas tree here in Epcot. I really like it, it's quite similar in size to the Hollywood Studios one. It's got all the flags on it from the countries around the world. Oh, that's clever on all the baubles. Yeah. There we go, you can see the detail on it, isn't that cute? Oh, it honestly doesn't do justice on a vlog, but it's really nice. So this shop here is called Port of Entry. This is my favorite shop on property usually, and the creation shop is great, but this is so underrated. It looks so small, and it's right in the middle here. It's when you come in, turn right, it's here. I just, I know it's like so weird that it, it just has so many good things in it. This is where I'm not gonna find anything I like today, but I promise you, it just has some really good bits in. I can't help myself, I just bought a dress. I just bought a dress. And it's gorgeous. So we've got one of these little passports, they're free. And then you can see where all the food is. Oh, the turkey Ooh. poutine, that's just here, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go. So here's our first snack and we're gonna share it. It's actually quite big. It's a portion of turkey poutine and we bought our own little cutlery. <laughs> and in the little bag I've put in wet wipes and um, anti bag yeah, straws. And they do ice water as well. So I picked us up a cup of that too. Oh my gosh, mm. it's so good. It kind of reminds me of Ikea meatballs. <laughs> you know, with the gravy and the cranberry. That's really good. That's really good. Snack ranking out of 10. 7.2. Mm, I was going to say 8. It was, it was tasty. It was homey. And the cranberry and the turkey was really good. On to the next one. Really good. <laughs> next snack is the sushi tree from the little Japan food booth. It's from Shiwasu. It's a little Christmas tree decoration. It's so cute. 
That was really tasty. Yeah. Snack score out of 10? Seven. Yeah, I'd give that a seven. That was really good. Cool goal. I'm gonna change my poutine one to a seven six. So I think that's a seven two. You're very specific. Yeah. What's wrong with round numbers? Why do we have to have a point? Too broad. Bye, dear most birthday. Come gather around. <laughs> Happy New Year. Or, as the Japanese say, Akemashite, Omedeito, Gonzaimas. The old year is gone, and it's time to welcome the new year. Akemashite, Akemashite, Omedeito, Omedeito, Gonzaimasu. Gonzaimasu. Very good. That's the spirit. No, no. This time I must say, welcome to the Japan Pavilion and our celebration of the traditional Japanese New Year. We're walking through the American Pavilion now and they have another tree and it's so beautiful. And then there's a little bit about Christmas and each country has a person that sort of comes out and narrates the story of Christmas or the Christmas for that country or that religion. Like Festive they, season. Yeah, they, they've been telling stories but it was quite sweet. And, oh, look at Olaf. Oh my gosh. So we're just in the American Pavilion. We're taking a little break. It's about 25 minutes to the next Voices of Liberty. I'm assuming they're gonna do Christmas songs. Maybe. I love the Voices of Liberty. I think it's well worth yes. taking some time to listen to their voices. Um, but we've got a little seat, and if you arrive early enough, you can get a little stall. Although we're eating sort of around the world showcase today, and we've got Tepan Ido for dinner tonight, we actually have a reservation for Space 220 Lounge. So in the next Epcot vlog that you'll see where we're doing that next week, we're gonna show you what that experience is like and just sort of compare that as a lunch, this tonight as a dinner, and then what it's like sort of eating as you go around if you're here for a festival. Usually now they have these food booths between all the festivals if you're doing Flower and Garden, Food and Wine, and now here we're at Festival of the Holidays, which actually started on Thanksgiving. It's the shortest running um, festival that they do, and it's really, really, really fun. So yeah, if you wanna see us do Space 220, hit subscribe so you don't miss that because that's meant to be really good, and I'm looking forward to being able to compare it all. You love acapella, don't you? Yeah. So you love anything like that. Music. Yeah, that was 45 minutes. Well, it was 15 minutes show, but 45 minutes we were sat inside there, yeah. just waiting, chilling, enjoying it. Christmas songs, love it. I really, really recommend it. Voice of Liberty sing all year round, but they don't always do Christmas songs, obviously. It was really um, nice hearing the carols, wasn't it? Really nice. I loved it. I know we're going to try and do candlelight processional later. And I did look at dining packages for us, but we already had Tefanido booked, and I just didn't love a lot of the choices. So. If we want to see Candlelight Processional, there's three times, and everyone's recommended we come about an hour beforehand. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. I've never seen this before. Little train next to Germany. It's a little model village. Oh, that's the, like the Canadian one that we want to do, isn't it, through the Rockies? Yeah, we want to do that in real life. For Festival of the Holidays, they are actually also doing a cookie stroll, and you can get a stamp every time you buy one of the cookies, and when you get five, you get an exclusive little pin. But we're not doing that today because we didn't want to give ourselves any added like things to do. We wanted to save it something to look forward to for the next Epcot because I love Epcot. Yeah. So we're gonna do that in the next vlog. So if you want to see all the cookies we eat, next one. So this is from the Bavaria stand in Germany. Pork schnitzel and other things. Red cabbage, mushroom. mushroom. Yeah, I like that. And it looks it tastes nice. Good. It's just a bit tough, really isn't it? Good. Five, five and a half. It's not, it, it tastes nice. It's just not, you know. The vegetable spring rolls 
and the Kung Fu Master. Quite like the chicken skewer. Go for it then. Yeah, let's get a chicken skewer, vegetable spring rolls, and a drink then. Ooh, crazy Ooh, girl. Oh, this one we're getting a few things. Ooh, crazy girl. From Shanghai, we got the chicken skewer, which looks like this. We've got the, are they veggie spring rolls? Veggie spring rolls. They look like this. And we also got a cocktail. Kung Fu Master, which is vodka, triple sec, mango and orange, I think. Have you tried it yet? Not yet. Oh, it's natural like that. Mm. It tastes like a boozy satsuma. That's good. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. All right, let's try the food and see what we think. Mmm. Happy with that. Yeah, that's great. Oh, I'm not sure on the chicken satay. It sounds stupid, but it's, it's really peanut buttery. Yeah, it's very it nutty. Like, it tastes like peanut butter mixed with oil, and then, and then like, that's it. It is soft though, the chicken's soft. It isn't, again, it's not It's not nasty, it's just four. Oh, four. Better than the um, schnitzel though. Five, schnitzel four. And schnitzel the for me was better than that. spring rolls were eight. Yeah, seven. Yeah, good, just really nice spring rolls. We've come into Mexico to do the three cabrieros. Oh, no. It's a 15 minute wait. This is a ride that when we first did it, we were like, what? And now it's become an ongoing in joke, hasn't it? Grand Fiesta Tour starring the three Caballeros. <laughs> a great band. They're called Joyful. Aren't they great? I love them. We'll enjoy their music as we walk. I have got a frozen, they've called it a frozen hot chocolate, but I don't know why they just, they just call it a frozen chocolate martini. It's obviously not hot. Anyway, it's amazing. It's got just the right amount of vodka and chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's such a nice hit. I do want to go and get our ice creams while we're here though. This is just a little pick me up. All right, we're going to Le Artisan uh, de la Glace. Do you speak French? I do. Oh, it's, it's Le Artisan de de glass. Is that right? No. Le Artisan des glasses. Oh, for God's sake. Said to Benj, next time we come, I have to get an ice cream because they do the brioche bun buns. <laughs> there are so many flavours. I like the sound of coconut white chocolate, mint. That sounds good. I might do the same. Yeah. Cool. Alright, we've got our brioche ice creams. <laughs> I'm so excited. We also have figures represent people from the village. The baker, the priest, little figures made of clay called Song Tong. Okay, we decided to try and join the standby entrance, but I think we may be a little bit late. This is for the first showing so it's quite a big queue hasn't it so for those of you that don't know what candlelight processional is it's an iconic part of history here in epcot for christmas time and they have a celebrity narrator who tells a story of christmas i believe and then there's some choirs and it lasts 45 minutes um, it's free to queue or you can pay for a dining package but we didn't like any of the dining packages so that's why we're in the queue on Saturday and Sunday. Josh Gad is here. Imagine Olaf. His voice would be amazing. I don't actually know who the narrator is. We need to look it up. That was actually fairly successful. It's 10 to 5 and it starts at quarter past. There's quite a lot of trees, so we tried our best to sit where there weren't a lot of trees, but there's a pole here, so please forgive me. This is the best view I'm going to be able to give you. Special guest narrator, 
Damon John. Good evening, everyone, and welcome. It is a true honor for me to be here. You may know me from being a shark on Shark Tank. Millions of guests have enjoyed the Christmas story, the traditional carols, and especially the glorious music of the holiday season. That was so good. I actually had a little moment in it. Quite a little bit emotional. Quite a little bit emotional because like when you plan something and you research something so heavily and then you're just sat there in the moment like, I thought about this for so long. You remember that rainy Sunday when you were watching YouTube videos? Yeah, and now I'm here. <laughs> it's happened, but it was amazing. That was way better than I thought it was gonna be, actually. I, 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 anything with an orchestra, anything with live vocals, and I, I love it. Yeah, so. I loved it too. Now we are going to Tepanido, which is um, a restaurant we booked. You go up the stairs in the Japan Pavilion. Stefanido. I've done it before, but in 2017, so it's been a long time for me. We're sat at a table with other people. Look, the house on pork. I'll pack that on pork, okay? I want a fork, a knife, a spoon, a soup spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Can we both have the knit on bashi? Yeah, we're going to talk. Good thing, yeah. I got you. Thank you. It was absolutely incredible. So good. Benji loved the experience. It was $124. That includes both of our meals, the combo um, chicken and steak. We also had two lemonades and we also had the little flight of alcohol as well. So $124 so is about £102 and then we give a tip. We got in about half past six and it's now 10 to 8. So a really nice meal and experience. The chef was so much fun. I don't really know of many places that I could do that locally at home. We were gonna see Harmonious tonight, but with me a little bit run down and Benji's quite tired, I'm gonna call it here. We have a really big day tomorrow. We're going to Magic Kingdom. We're making a whole vlog for you, Magic Kingdom, and we're staying to do Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party. So it's gonna be a completely Christmassy special vlog just before Christmas for you. So we're really looking forward to that. So I don't wanna burn us out or make us too tired. We've done 10,000 steps today, so not as many as yesterday. Today. It's been a lot more chill today. We're walking through World Traveller, which is a shop that's right by the um, Skyliner. And look at these lounge fly bags. They're so cute. Especially love this one. Oh, 
ever. That is so sweet. Oh, it plays a little song. Na, 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 na. We are back at Pop Century. If you've enjoyed this vlog, hit subscribe. Leave us a nice friendly comment. Magic Kingdom's gonna be so good. <laughs> so good. And party time as well. Party! Yeah, woo woo! Oh, I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I'm sorry. That, that I just took that to a whole one, level. That was your last 1% <laughs> gone now. Right, no. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next one. See Bye! You later.